we have made some major Kittle improvements that will make you design faster, increase your efficiency for doing projects. So I'm gonna go through the list one by one and show you exactly what changed in Kittle. Now I'm going to start from the home page right here so there's no confusion about where I am or how I got there. So nothing massive has changed on the home page except for our new added categories here and our subcategories here. I actually did a pretty great detailed video, I think, of all of the amazing use cases and templates we've recently added. You can check that out here. I go through 30 different creative projects with brand new templates that we have added to Kill. So check out that video here. But what I'm gonna show you are changes and improvements from within the editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on new project up here and it is going to open up a brand new project. I'm just gonna keep this on standard because it's not massively important for what we're doing right now. So what I'm gonna do is basically go from the top left. Now, we've changed the full Kittle logo to be the K. If I click this K, it's going to take me directly back to the home page. I'm not going to click it now because I want to stay in the editor for this. But if I click that K, that's how I'm going to go back to the home page. That's how I'm going to search more templates. But of course, as you can see, the templates panel has opened here. And so you can search through all of these templates. You can see how many artboards are within a specific design. If there are multiple artboards from within one project, you can also search and you can now click on our subcategories or our trending tags here. But what I want to draw your attention to is this new main menu up here in the top left. So in this top main menu, if I click it, now we're able to do everything that was kind of cluttered over here on the right side, but now easily from this main hamburger menu. So we can rename our title. We can go ahead and add a new project. We can click a new project, which will open a completely new uh, window. We can click duplicate project, which means we'll duplicate the current project that we're working on and then it will be editing the duplicated project. We can go back to my projects quickly. We can turn on the guides here, which you can see here is also command and apostrophe. So we can turn on the guides right here and we can still adjust them. I know a couple people were confused on where that moved to. Don't worry, it's still there. It just moved to the hamburger menu. Let's go ahead and turn those back off. We can also change what we want to be working in. So whether we want to be working in inches, whether we want to be pixels or millimeters, I always typically prefer to work in pixels, but again, you have these options here for you. And we can switch back and forth between dark mode and light mode from this hamburger menu. And you can force save or custom save by going ahead and clicking save. Now you can also, and it'll say down here, all changes save. Now you can also uh, just hit command S and it will do the same thing. Now I can rename my title from clicking this or the second change, I can rename my title here. So I'm gonna just rename this test example and that's what it's gonna be. You can also click this auto save changes to save as well. So I'm just going to click test or I'm just gonna type test example cause that's what we're doing. And then boom, that's what we're going to leave that as test example, all good to go. And you all know about these. These are our cursors, our move cursors and the artboard tool. You can now draw different artboards. If you're in the cursor tool, you can hit A at any time to go into the artboard tool. Now, I also want to show you our new quick panel menu. So if I were to add a shape here, we have this new menu here at the top. Now, if I want to easily duplicate this, I can just hit the duplicate button. And then now my image or my object is duplicated. I can also delete it immediately from right there. I can also go into the more options, which is basically like right clicking and I can easily get there very fast without having to do right click. It's all right there for me. Uh, we will be going over the Kittle Copilot in a future video. So be looking forward to that because that is going to blow your mind. But let's add an image to see just how different it is. So I'm gonna go over into, let's go vintage flower and we are going to grab one of these so now you can see there are a lot more options here so obviously we have duplicate which will duplicate it you saw that already so we can crop from here let's go right here exit crop and so now that's cropped like that let me hit command z 
I can now erase with the eraser tool, the long awaited eraser tool that everyone was waiting for. And so now I can come in here and let's say I don't particularly care for this part of the flower. Um, I can just get rid of that or I could, I can make my size go way down and I can start working on getting rid of the rest of this. You can get real detailed with this. And we can say that flower never existed because I didn't necessarily like that, that flower with that stem or maybe I think it looks better uh, and now that's how I want it. <laughs> but I can also go back and at any point so you can see there every time you take the eraser off or you unclick it becomes a save. So I'm clicking command shift Z or command Z to go completely back and that is how you use the eraser tool. Now what you can also do like I mentioned already is delete and you can also hit the more options panel which if you are working on a image if you're working on an image you can immediately save it as an image generation style for ai uh, you could replace it with something else which will open up the replace feature here you can use it as the background which will make it become the background it's a very cool feature or you can do everything else like lock it bring it to the front bring it to the back now, if you haven't seen how awesome the replace feature is, I did a video on that with a couple of different use cases showing some different templates, some different designs on how I might be using the replace feature. But what's really nice about this is no matter if you're going from vector to image or static image to vector or what have you, you can replace it and it will take on the general size of that image. So I can keep replacing these no matter how much I want which is really great if it's in, the, in a design. As you can see, it's taking on the colors of said replace, right? So every time I hit replace, you can see the general colors over here, but it's taking the colors of what we've been working on over in the right side panel. So that is a really, really cool feature because now you don't have to fight with trying to add something, size it up, size it down, bring it forward, bring it back. You can just easily all do it with that replace feature. In addition, you might have noticed that the image generator and logo generator are now separated by themselves. So in the image generator, we have turbo now, which is V1 and advanced, which is V2. We've relabeled those. Turbo is way faster. It's way better, way more accurate. You can see the video I did right here on turbo. That was a really great example of showing how strong Turbo is and going back and forth in advance. And then obviously now Logo Generator is by itself. It's not hidden up in the Kittle AI section. So now it's a lot easier for you to get to the Logo Generator. Now, a couple other things that we worked on over the last couple of months. Don't forget, you can now duplicate an artboard. You can hold the Alt or Option key click and drag you can also now use the quick panel menu here to just duplicate that artboard and move it over which is even faster you can draw artboards like i mentioned with the a key or by clicking on the artboard tool and you can even add projects to your current artboard so let's say if i really like this one i can just click on it i can click add to current and that is going to populate in and then i could bring in so many different templates. I could create a whole mood board or I could make a whole branding project. We have a couple of videos showing how to do just that, that Eduardo did on a coffee shop brand, which was really amazing. You can check that video out up in the cards. It was super cool to watch, so you don't want to miss that. Well, let me know what you think of these Kittle updates down in the comments. Do you like the new layout? Do you like how tidy everything is? Have you tried the new AI yet? Let us know. We love your feedback. We appreciate it. We take all of that. We do our best to prioritize it in a manner that gets everybody what they want as soon as possible while also trying to make sure we fix anything that might have gone astray or are there are bugs that might happen which just happened and we have to make sure that we get those fixed in order for your efficiency to continue to improve. So let us know down in the comments. We truly value your feedback. Don't forget to come over and hang out with us in the Discord. We have channels for everything from pre-on-demand to digital products to AI to just hanging out to getting customer support, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you join the Discord. The link is down in the description as well as a coupon code to get a percentage off your first subscription to Kittle if you're not subscribed to Kittle yet. You can go ahead and try a free trial or you can use that coupon code and get 
percentage off your first payment. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the Kittle channel here so that you don't miss any amazing updates like this one. So that way you're not looking for something that might have moved. You can always find it. You can always see the updated videos here on YouTube. So subscribing really helps us out. It helps you out, helps everybody out. So please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.